Hello! In today's video, I have something special from BenQ. They sent me this awesome monitor not too long ago. If you want to watch that video, I'll put that video in the description box. But today, they have sent me a new projector. I don't know much about projectors. I will be the first to say that. In fact, I've never owned a projector. So this video is going to be very raw. It's going to be my first impressions. I'm really going to figure, see if it is easy for someone like myself, even if I can be, a little, you know, uh, I, I'm good with tech. Uh, but like still I want to see from a noob's perspective whether or not it's easy to set up and get working um, And yeah, I'm just gonna give you my first impressions and thoughts on it from uh, that point of view I hope you enjoy this video if you are a pro projector Enthusiast I will add those stats for you as well Otherwise, let's open this up and dive right into it because I am so excited Thank you so much BenQ for sending me this projector y'all are awesome and I very much appreciate it. So let's uh, let's check it out. I also want to mention during these difficult times, be sure to support your local YouTube creators, local as in YouTube. Uh, this is the wonderful Fran Lab. I'm gonna put her YouTube channel in my description box below. I know YouTubers don't necessarily have a traditional job that they can or can't lose. However, I would guess that since so many large companies are having troublesome times right now, that they are going to cut budgets on things like advertising, and that will have a ripple effect to a lot of YouTubers that you watch on a regular basis. So if you can support with a like on the video, uh, clicking the subscribe, clicking the bell notification, watching a video without your ad blocker, all those wonderful things just to keep the YouTube, specifically tech, but any YouTuber, uh, you know, being able to continue doing what they love doing. Uh, having said that, let's jump into this video. So here it is! This is the TH-685 from BenQ. And let's just open it up. Cause I've been waiting for this for a very long time. Oh, we got it, all right. I probably should be doing this on the table, but we're gonna use my lap. That is essentially similar to a table. All right, we have a... Uh, Plug of some sort, uh, power, warranty, remote, very nice, very nice, uh, booklet. And now for the grand prize. <gasps> Why is it so cute already? Not a toy, Sassy, not a toy. Not everything is for you, I know. Last time we opened the box, there were tennis balls for you. Not today, this is more for mom. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I swear I'm talking to my dog. I, and, oh. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at this. Oh. Oh. This is very exciting. I see 1080p. We have a power light, a temperature light, a light light. A oh, power button, back menu auto, looks like menu, ooh, and it's like rubber, they're rubbery. Uh, source and eco blank. I don't know what any of that is. Oh, and we got a focus up here, I guess, for manual focus. Very awesome. Let's plug it in. The one thing I just realized it doesn't seem to come with is HDMI. So they give you a VGA cable. Definitely. VGA ports on the back. So that makes sense. Uh, it looks like we have audio in, audio out. I'm trying to think if I have any audio out that I can use. I can move my speakers. Uh, HDMI 2, HDMI 1, USB, PC, monitor out, RS-232, and a lock. All right. You know what? I am not going to use this. I'm going to go grab an HDMI cable. I'll be right back. Where am I going to point it? I would like to point it like that way, I feel like. We'll use that wall. So another cool thing, it has these little feet. I don't know how far, they go down pretty far. Good news, I have the longest HDMI cable in existence. Oh, I have it on a cart. Honestly, I don't think this could be better. I have just powered on the device. <gasps> Look at the light. The power, this is the sound it makes. It's not too bad. 
I'm, I have it propped on uh, some uh, embroidery floss. And uh, I think we need to focus. So let's get this focused. So it looks like you can do front, front ceiling, rear or rear ceiling. That's nifty. Let me see if I can get a little bit more in focus. I am actually pretty impressed at how crisp that is. Oh, that's way better, yeah. All right, choose the way of how you install your projector. We're gonna do front, English. This is crazy, this is just on my wall. Uh, vertical keystone correct if they're disordered to measure the noticeable. I don't know what this is asking for. Vertical keystone. I think this is okay. So that's where the projector searches automatically. Okay. Basic to start using current settings. Sure. Oh, there's my, there's my computer. Let's see if I can move this further back. I still have my uh, ring light on. I'm gonna turn that off for maximum fit. Oh yeah, let me turn all my lights off. <gasps> oh my God. I am shook right now. What? <gasps> okay, sorry. I keep finding out ways to make it bigger. This is day two of isolation with a sore throat. You're gonna be able to tell how long I've been at home by how long my facial hair gets, but that doesn't mean we're gonna stop making videos. So we did a folding at home call to arms last week where we had people contribute computing power from their desktop machines to help run protein folding simulations to help in the fight against COVID-19 among other diseases. So we said we were going oh my to work God. with the guys to build our This is stupid good. I had no idea. Oh my God. And put it in our I'm server room. I don't even That's know what, what do. I'm going to be doing. Um, I feel like I've totally been missing the boat. I had my mouse uh, just on my stool. It worked fine. Keyboard on my lap. Worked fine for gaming. Um, you can ignore the stream deck. I was using that to prop my phone. Um, I did hook up some speakers, like so surround sound, so I sat like right in between them and the doom sound effects were insane. Projector right in the middle, obviously. Literally the easiest setup. I cannot believe all I did was plug it in and it worked. Okay, wow. That was insane. I feel like I've been missing the boat on projectors for a long time. I don't, I didn't think they were gonna be that good. I don't know why I expected like a grainy picture or to like have to need a screen or something. It's turning itself off right now. So I think the fan is gonna be running a little bit, but um, wow, I'm going to uh, give you my first impressions. Amazing, that was insane. I watched a little bit of Netflix. I watched a YouTube video and I played a little bit of Doom and Wow, wow, wow. Um, obviously it did help that I had awesome speakers on either side. So it was definitely like a surround sound type environment. It worked out really well. Um, totally dark in my room. So that helped no like light pollution going on in here. And a big, nice white wall definitely helped. You probably do need those things if you want a good sensory type experience. Good sound, 
good speakers, a nice white wall, unless you have a screen, uh, but my white wall worked fine. So you just need a large white wall and a very, very dark room. I removed all light from in here, so it was very dark in here, except for the light coming from the projector, which was fantastic. Two possible negatives. The fan is loud. I think that's just a common thing with projectors. I don't think there's any way of getting around that. And the other thing is that it does let off a lot of heat. I don't have my AC on right now and I'm a little warm in here. It probably didn't help that I was sitting right next to it and the fan blows out the hot air right here. So it was literally like coming right at me. That's more my fault um, and I would, you know, if I were to sit, I probably wouldn't sit like this again. I'd probably set it up going up against my other wall um, and with a different computer. But wow totally blown away. I hope it came across on the camera. I'm not sure if something like that can even be picked up on the camera, but I am, okay, I'm, I gotta stop saying it. I'm blown away. It was also really easy to hook up. Literally, I had an HDMI cable that was really long, so that helped. I, uh, I just plugged that into my video card, uh, the one that was actually hooked up to my Asus monitor, really easy swap. Moved my mouse and keyboard so that I can access them this direction. And that was it. I did turn off my monitor behind me, the other monitor, just so that it was darker in here. But other than that, I didn't have to do anything extra. Um, the settings were super easy. Like I didn't have to change anything. I'm sure you can, if you're more of a connoisseur of projectors, there were other settings in there. So you could probably fiddle with them a little bit, but uh, I like the fact that it was plug and pay, play. I understand a lot of tech people like to fiddle with stuff, but I like to sometimes just plug and play. I don't want to deal with the frustrations of like trying to figure stuff out, even though I know I can. Sometimes I just don't want to. So the fact that this was just completely plug and play made me very, very, very happy. Now for those enthusiasts who know a thing or two about projectors, not me, uh, let me tell you a little bit about the information because this may be what you're looking for. So this projector from BenQ, the TH685, offers 1080p, 120 hertz, 8.3 millisecond low latency gaming, 95% Rec. 709 vivid color, 3500 lumen high brightness, HDR support, 10 to 1000 high contrast ratio, a five watt immersive chamber speaker with Cinemaster Audio Plus 2. Two HDMI ports, so you can have actually two gaming consoles or a PC and a console or two PCs, whatever you want to do. You can connect two of them at once. 15,000 hour lamp life which is awesome. I don't know how expensive the bulbs are, but I've heard projector bulbs are a little bit pricey. So 15,000 hours, that's a long time. And then it, something called Lumi Expert automatically adjusts brightness to your surrounding for optimized images every time, which I didn't have to adjust anything. I fully expected to go in there and have to like calibrate a ton or like figure it out. All I did was the little focus dial and that was it. The rest was all done for me and it looked fantastic. Supposedly it also does work with 3D glasses. I don't have 3D glasses and I can't see 3D because I don't have depth perception with one eye. Although some people say I could with VR. Anyway, um, I don't, so I can't test that out. And honestly, just tons and tons of entertainment. I am still just blown away. I can't believe all the white walls I have not been able to use a projector against in the past, but now I have a whole house of white walls and I'm very excited to use this projector. I'm just like thinking of all the like awesome movies I can just cozy up on the couch and watch now. Oh, it's so exciting. In fact, I'm gonna go watch something right now. I think I'm gonna put this in my living room, cozy up on the couch with Sassy and watch a movie. I know this is more so a gaming projector, but I kind of want to, uh, you know, yeah, go cuddle with it a little bit. Thank you so much for watching this video. All links for the projector and any additional information are in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, all my social links are also in the description box below. If you wanna follow me over on Twitch, we do daily streams. I know, it's crazy, but we are there. So maybe I'll see you over there too. Anyway, I hope you uh, have a fantastic one. Stay safe, stay inside, and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.